in a place where there is nobody to have I mean, this in our backyard is very disturbing. Smith, the self-described RTK, or rape, torture, kill predator, released from a state mental hospital after 21 years for admitting he fantasized about raping and killing children. Meg Land, a victim herself of a sexual predator, was at the protest. My attacker was also placed into a mental facility, and when he was released, he ended up going through the same kind of steps as this particular instance is going through. And given I have a 10-year-old little boy at home, I'm going to do anything and everything I can to make sure what happened to me never happens to him. Approximately 100 people joined the protest, one that came close at times to spiraling out of control. The crowd's emotions ran very high, as would be expected, but for the most part they were very respectful and protesting peacefully. Peaceful, yet bordering at times on all-out rowdiness, with protesters wanting to flush Smith out of town themselves. <laughs> One arrest was made as the unruliness spilled out into the parking lot. <laughs> His release, with virtually no restrictions, has local leaders frustrated with a legal system that puts a man who has claimed to have killed three boys and molested 200 others back on the streets. Now he'll have to commit a crime or slip up, and someone will have to get hurt for him to be put where he needs to be. Uh, I have um, a real, um, I'm really disgusted with that loophole. So people here in Lake Elsinore are relieved that Smith is no longer at this hotel. In fact, he's out of the city completely. We're told that he is now relocated to a hotel somewhere in North San Diego County. Doesn't really matter. He's bound to face resistance wherever he goes. In Lake Elsinore, Rick Lozano, Fox 11 News.